This one is just covered with that really cloudy pattern. What's up guys, it's Xavier at Bob Clark Reptiles and welcome back. So this week we got some pied berms hatching, we got some more retics hatching, let's take a look. Super Motley Citron Poshead Albino and this is a fire Super Motley Citron Poshead Albino. The fire really turns them blue. Mochino Marble Clutch Shed. Mochino Marble with Sunfire in it. Come here. Look at that. Very awesome. First pied Burmese is starting to cut his way through the egg. It's quite possibly the best day of my life. Speaking of pied Burmese, here's an albino het pied. Here's a big sunfire reticulated python on a nice clutch of eggs. Bred her to a marble molly jag. So that'll be nice. Good morning, Steve. Uh-oh. If you ever come by and meet Steve, make sure you scratch him on his chin. I'm beginning to get very excited because the first Pied Burmese has come out of the egg and look how high white he is. That's just amazing. Here's some baby retics taking their first breaths. So here's one of our interesting adult reticulated pythons. This is a motley reticulated python. Why does she look so different? The reason for that is that she is an original mutation of motley. She appeared in a breeding that was not motley and her babies don't come out looking like her, they come out looking like normal motleys. First, we thought she was a phantom, so we bred her to a golden child head orange ghost stripe to try and make some cows, but we just got motley golden childs. Here's two pied Burmese that have just come out of the egg. The pied gene is what is giving them that white. This is what a normal Burmese python looks like. Back to our second facility to check on some things, and look at that. Another clutch of Het Pied Burmese. Here's her clutch. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these pieds out one by one and kind of do just a short clip of all of them. This albino pied probably has the least amount of white out of all of them in the clutch and it's still amazing now we've already sold a couple of them but most of these are available for sale so go ahead and email us or check our website here's another really high white one Here's just a really high white pied. Here's another high white. This is just amazing. Leave a comment below and tell me which one you like better, the albino or the normal pied. Here's another really high white pied. I told you guys in the last video, we're gonna have some great stuff this summer and we're just getting started. Wait till the granite pieds come out. Now these are all Paws Het granite as well. And if I had to guess, I would say that is Het granite. These just look unreal. And I'm shooting this video with my iPhone 11 Pro camera. These really small spots of pattern on the albino pieds kind of look like uh, an albino pied retic, like an albino motley pod. It's just got that kind of cloudy look to it. I think this one could probably be heck granite too. We used a high white albino pied male for the father. And if this clutch is taught as anything, it's that high white pied males make high white pied babies for sure. This one is just covered with that really cloudy pattern. Here's 
Here's the last albino pied from the clutch. Really awesome pattern on this one. Last but certainly not least, here is the last pied from the clutch. Again, just amazing. Steve says bye.